Council meetings are long and boring. Wouldn't it be great if they were short and unboring? This is why I've invented the five-minute meeting. <laughs> quiet, everyone, quiet, okay. Ashton City Council meeting of May 18th coming to you from the Black Sheep today. Hey, uh, an audit of all federal funds sent to Ashland in 2020, including all of our COVID money, uh, that was uh, audited by an independent auditor. And they reported that the funds were used appropriately yes that's right so the company that we pay to see if we are compliant says we are and so we paid them i wonder what will happen next year and then the third quarter financial report this guy said hey i got some questions and then they answered all the questions and they all went oh that's a good report approved and then they went to the annual police report and the police chief said hey uh uh, use of police force is down in 2020 and a uh, call for services is up in 2020 and investigations of those calls is down in 2020 and the laser the taser was used twice and the pepper spray was used twice and property crimes are down probably due to covid and uh, the downtown repeat offender ordinance was used on four people and uh, stats show that cops pulled over people by race in a pretty good ratio pretty average and then the uh, covid emergency declaration boy the city guy said hey you know let's extend all the way to july 6th i feel like that might be the last extension of all these uh, uh, COVID uh, declarations. And the, and the two main emergency declarations the city guy has made this entire emergency time were one, allowing people to live in campers in your driveway and allowing people to live in hotels for more than 30 days. So he might have to end those. And they all approved that. And then the city manager's report, but uh, Aura was awarded $400,000 and that needs to be spent by June 30th. So go figure that out, whoever needs it. And then the, the uh, you know, the 250 unit, like Agrihood, it's out on Highway 99 near the storage units in the uh, uh, veg veterinarian place. Uh, that, that was not annexed uh, because uh, somebody complained to the land use board about the size of the sidewalks or something. So thank God somebody is slowing down uh, the building of housing and then fire season began and uh, Oregon Department of, fire, uh, of uh, Forestry has a PowerPoint on stuff that might be on the city website and our Ashland uh, Reader Reservoir though, uh, is in way better shape than like Immigrant Lake FYI. It's not in that bad of shape apparently. And then the consent agenda, boy some guy was appointed to the Historic Commission and uh, the Racial Equity Committee members are going to be uh, appointed next meeting. And then the uh, uh, Community Center and Pioneer Hall update. Well so the city guy says that. I go, so you go, on the last vote we said no to $185,000 for an engineering report. So the company's still sitting by saying, you know, if you change your mind tonight, well, well maybe we can still do that. Otherwise, we've got to create uh, ad hoc committees. And the public forum came along and, oh, who shows up? Local citizen builder, uh, restorer guy. I think we all know who that guy is. And he says, uh, he goes, hey, these two uh, talked to me and a bunch of my uh, pals and such. And uh, they said, hey, uh, maybe you guys could uh, give us alternatives for fixing these buildings. And uh, uh, and uh, we did that. We did. We think we can do a cheaper uh, version of that. And so then this guy goes, this one here, she goes, oh boy. Oh man, I mean, uh, you know, timelines and council directives and objectives. Oh boy, I mean, where are, where are we with this stuff? And then the city guy goes, oh boy, oh, RFPs and engineering. I mean, it's so hard to know. And then, and then the bearded city works guy says, oh boy, I don't know. I mean, it's uh, uh, four months of engineering and construction bidding is for, he didn't even say going forward. He loves saying that. He says it's too serious to say going forward. And so this guy goes, he goes, hey, uh, he says, he says, hey, uh, this one and I, we got, we like this volunteer group that came along to, and we want to hear what they uh, think. We think they should be allowed to, to do this. And, uh, and uh, this one goes, uh, oh, there should be rules. There should be rules. And the city guy goes, oh yeah, lots of rules, lots of rules. And, and, a, and it's going to be a big process too. And then uh, this one says, let's, I just move that we, uh, we create this, uh, uh, we start this. And uh, so by this, I think it means they created an official ad hoc committee and that is it. I think all approved. <laughs> What's the opposite of bold? That's what just happened. And then uh, this one, this one here said, I would like to continue uh, recruiting a city manager instead of uh, taking a break just because the two recruitment firms uh, quit on us. And I take back saying in the previous meeting that I would like to take a break. And then, so uh, this one says, yeah, yeah, we should keep moving forward uh, with this recruitment process right away. And this guy goes, he goes, oh, no, 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 we shouldn't. We should, uh, we should, we need more time. And then uh, these two fight. And, uh, and then this one says, hey, oh, 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 time out. I call code of conduct on this one and uh, everyone has to be nice. And so then they voted and they voted four to two against, uh, so of course uh, the two against uh, four, these were, these were uh, four. Anyway, what, what ended up four to two, the city manager uh, recruitment cannot be talked about until August. That's the, the done deal. And then new business. Oh, we're acquiring an acre of land and the parks guy says, hey, we, uh, we need to buy a piece of land. 
but the city needs to approve it because of the charter and the rules and everything. So it's an acre next to the five acres, which are off of East Main near Tolman. Uh, there's that five acre park near the YMCA. So this, they're getting a, an acre of land for $100,000 and then it connects for a property and there's a, uh, and it's a deal, the park guy says, it's great. And he, we, we have the cash, the park guy says, there's future dog park there and the public garden's gonna be there and it's a, it's a great deal. And so then all approved. What were they, oh, no, not all approved. No, this guy, this guy says no, no to that. Not sure why. And then, uh, so it's five to one, right? And go, oh, wait, when, later in the meeting, you find out this one later on, uh, she also said no to that too. Uh, for some reason, so uh, odd. That happened though. And then uh, approving dam safety improvement engineering report, $700,000 uh, to do an upkeep engineering uh, report, mostly about the possibility of erosion uh, during a big flood event, which is w way more possible and likely than an earthquake, by the way. So all you earthquake people, easy. Uh, the, uh, the report is required by FERC, Federal Emergency Commissions on ours. I don't know. It was all approved because it's required. And then uh, the reimbursement resolution for capital improvement projects. There's some rule that makes all prep and engineering costs for all projects eligible for retroactive re reimbursement when later financing comes in or like a loan or a bond is found. And then you can go back and pay for the early the prep stuff you did. And so uh, uh, if four to two, these two said, uh, no, we don't want it. We don't want that. And uh, unclear why that's bad, I don't know. And then a uh, wildfire building code amendment, the state has a new wildfire building material requirement and cities aren't required to adopt them. But the city building guy says, oh, we should. It's a good one. It's not that much more expensive for the builders. And uh, this is for all the new stuff building going on. Doesn't go not retroactive to people already build stuff. And that's approved, all approved. And then the second reading of the chronic nuisance ordinance. Oh, it makes it easier to give big tickets to uh, loud and messy jerks. So that's all approved. And then uh, this one says, uh, she says, hey, we should, uh, we should, uh, uh, we, the entire council should support state Senate bill 762 because it's got a lot of wild fire regulations and funding for a bunch of firewise things and firefighter things. It's, it's all approved, everyone loves that. And then uh, this one ended uh, uh, by thanking someone for something. I forgot exactly what it was, but that's the end of the meeting. You're welcome.